Welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we use the steady flow energy equation to calculate the maximum power delivered by a water turbine. I hope you find it informative. The water turbine is supplied with water from a large tank at a rate of 36,000 kilograms per minute. The center of the turbine is 300 meters below the surface of the water. The discharge of the turbine is 5 meters below the center of the turbine. These points are labeled as Alpha and Bravo, respectively. Let's apply the steady flow energy equation from point Alpha to Bravo. As written, it is in dimensions of energy per mass. We are looking for power, so we'll still have some work to do after we solve for the specific work out. Simplifying, there is no heat transfer into the flowing system. The velocity at point Alpha is negligible due to the large tank assumption. The velocity at point Bravo is given. The enthalpies at point Alpha and point Bravo cancel since we are considering a perfect turbine and the pressures are the same at both locations. With these simplifications, we can directly solve for the specific workout from the turbine. Note that the units are in meters squared per second squared, which is energy per mass, but inconvenient to work with. Let's use the definition of a Newton to convert it into more familiar units. Now that we have the specific worked out, we can multiply it by the provided mass flow rate to get the power. The maximum power output is 1,776 kilowatts. I hope you found this instructional video useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.